All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Kester Amos once again, and today we'll be showing you something very new. Uh, some of you must have heard about it, but uh, then we don't know. Uh, this video might be of uh, great help to you. So we deemed it necessary to bring it to you. So I'm right here in my own farm, my demonstration farm. You know, a lot of persons see me building farms on a very large scale. And they must be thinking I have a very massive farm as well. No, the thing is I have a very small farm. And in my farm I have a rabbit's farm, broilers, layers, uh, snail, grass cutter, fish, and so on. I have practically everything, but in small, small bits and well organized and intensively built. Uh, you know, as an animal scientist, I need to ensure that I have everything to make sure that uh, when people come for training, we can have the best facility to show them, even though it is not that big. So uh, land has actually been a limiting factor, and of course, another thing is capital to go that huge. One thing is having the knowledge, another thing is having the resources to go that big. So when you have the knowledge, gradually you can grow to get to that stage of the kind of farms you see me build for people, but personally, my own facility it's not as big as those uh, giant farms, but of course I have all it takes to have a farm of that size, bar the capital issue. So uh, what I want to show you here today is an experiment I've been running with my birds. Because before I bring out anything to the public or advocate for anything, I ensure I practice it on my farm and succeed with it, not just once, not just twice before I can really take it out there and advertise it for people to come to want to use it. So I'm going to be showing you one of my products that I've been using for uh, broilers, uh, poultry specifically. Now you can see uh, I have birds here. We have about a hundred uh, broilers here. And today is making these birds exactly uh, six weeks old. Today makes them six weeks old. Then we also have the ones we just brought in uh, that are just about three days old. I'm going to open it. Okay, please raise this up so that they can see. Uh, come on, you can come out. Don't worry. I have some IT students on my farm, so uh, you can see they are always with their lab coats or farm coats rather. So these ones are three days old. We just brought them in while these other ones are six weeks old. So now you can see the difference between three weeks and uh, three days and uh, six weeks. So we've had average weights of about two kg in uh, six weeks. And uh, some of them are already weighing 2.6, 2.7 kg in weight at six weeks. So that's why I've actually brought the scale out so that we can scale them for you to see. So it doesn't look like we just tell you these beds are weighing this much and you don't get to see it weigh that much. So uh, Moses, don't worry about that. You'll still open that place. So this gets uh, one of the beds. So we'll take the weights of the beds. Then I will tell you how we come about getting this weight within this short period of time. Some farmers struggle to get their beds to 2 kg, 2.5, even at 8 weeks. But we can assure you of getting your beds to at least uh, 3 kg in 8 weeks. So here we are, 6 weeks, and we already have beds weighing 2.6, 2.7 kg. Alright, hold on. Let's adjust the scale. So you can see the scale is already adjusted and is on zero. Um, is on zero. So whatever we put up there will be the exact weight of the bird. So okay, bring the bird now. This is your, let's see what this guy gives us. Okay, hold on. So you can see this is giving us exactly six point seven kg. You can see this is one kg, two kg. So 2.7, almost 2.8 kg at 6 weeks. Today is making it 6 weeks. Alright, so take it out and give us another one. I think the minimum weight we have here is almost uh, 1.8 kg. That's the least weight we have here. So um, we have some really good weights at this time. So remember, it's just 6 weeks today. Alright, put this let's see. Yeah, 
So this is 2.4 kg. This is 2.4 kg. So you see, like I said, the average weight of what we have already on the farm is about one uh, two kg uh, body weight. When you mix both the smallest and the highest weight. So we have some that are almost three kg as well. Like the first one you saw was 2.7 kg at six weeks. So we have them all in uniform growth. Why? Because of the growth booster we use and it's purely organic. So that's what we want to show you. So here is our growth booster. We have not browned it yet because like I said, whatever I show to the public, I'm sure I make use of it for a period of time and see the success ratio before we take it out. So this is a, a ordinary uh, brown sugar can that we, we got. So I just had to put the uh, solution inside this. So this is brown sugar. So it has got nothing to do with what we have in here. So this is an organic uh, growth booster. We use a... Uh, purely panaipo and fresh fish, tilapia fish or catfish, anyone is fine. So that is what we used in producing this. So you can see the panaipo is organic, the fish is organic. So there's nothing inorganic in this. So those are the items we use to produce this particular growth booster. So um, probably if you keep following us, I will show you how I make this growth booster. But for now, if you want a uh, uh, to have it, we can supply it to you irrespective of your location. Wherever you are, we can actually send this down to you. So this is one liter of the growth booster and this can go, go a long way. You can use this for pretty much uh, like two to three sets of beds depending on the number of beds you have. So this is what makes the difference. As a secret to what we have here, so you can see these beds are six weeks old. I think today's date is uh, 2nd of uh, May. So by the time uh, you can see these beds, so that, uh, please roll it up, let's... Uh, roll it up. So mark the date. Today is 2nd of May. And these beds are actually, three, I think, four days old. Four days old. So in six weeks from now, we are going to make another video and upload to you. Hopefully today we upload this video on this date so uh, you can see what this verse will be in another six weeks. So run with us on this project, mark the date. In six weeks from now, we'll make a video of this verse. By that time, we'll transfer them to this other side as these other ones will already be sold by then. So you see that we mean exactly what we're saying. We're not showing you some eight or nine weeks beds and telling you they are six weeks. So today is the 2nd of May. I think by uh, the uh, second week of June, this bed should be six weeks old or thereabout. So we'll make another video of this beds and show you when they are six weeks old. And we're going to repeat the process of scaling the beds and showing you exactly how they weigh. So at 8 weeks, what we are expecting is 4.5 to 5 kg, uh, if not more. That's what we are expecting. So in another 2 weeks from now, the beds are only going to grow more because this is the time they want to add weight. So uh, that's it. You can close this one for now. So this is our growth booster. Like I said, the combination here is basically pineapple uh, and uh, fresh fish, which is either the catfish or the tilapia fish, anyone is fine. So I'm going to show you how to produce this in a subsequent video. So please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do well to subscribe because we have great content coming your way. And also we have something else to show you beside that. Now I have two items here. These are also organically made. This is the lab. You must have heard about the lab lactic acid bacteria. And this is IMO, which is called indigenous microorganisms. So a combination of this helps to produce organic litter. The organic litter is what we have on the floor for the birds and it doesn't smell. So our poultry house doesn't smell. So with the help of the lactic acid bacteria and indigenous microorganisms, we bring together some litter materials like sawdust, 
uh, soya sawdust, soil, rice bran, a combination of that, and will produce what is called the organic litter. So that organic litter, you can use it in your poultry house without changing the litter for as much as a year. We can raise four, five, six sets of broilers on the same litter, and you don't need to change it. There will be no flies on the litter. The litter will not smell. So this is the magic for that. So we're going to talk about this extensively when we begin to make videos of how to prepare the IMO, the lab, and also the organic litter. Now, uh, just to bring this to your notice, I'm quite aware that many consultants on the internet has been using my videos to train people on snail, especially snail farming. And they've been collecting money from these people. Please, I'm advising, should in case you're one of those who are participating in those trainings where they use my videos, I am not the one training you. These guys just extract my videos from YouTube and use them for their trainings. And they collect huge sums of money from people. Lots of persons have called me and I've told them I'm not the one carrying out such trainings. My name is Kesta Amos and my company name is Kesta Amos Consultancy Services Limited. That is my account detail as well. So whoever that is training you and asks you to send money, please check the account name because my account name is tied to my company name, which is Kesta Amos Consultancy Services Limited. And my name is Kesta Amos. So please, whoever you're dealing with, try as much as possible to be sure of who you're dealing with because I am not the one carrying out those trainings. I've seen them, lots of persons have called that they've been using my videos. Of course, the videos are on YouTube for everybody to use. But some persons are dubious, of course, you know, and may want to tarnish the good work we have been doing. So please, the advice is if you are participating in any such type of training, please do well to be sure that you know who you are paying your money to as you are not dealing with us directly. So if you want to deal with us directly, the number to call is plus 2348068 five two five zero three two that's the number to reach us all right so these are organic materials we're going to show you other videos on how to produce the imo and also the lab then we'll also make a video a comprehensive video of how to produce the organic litter so you can produce a litter material that you don't have to change every one week you have it there for different sets of broilers and it works perfectly all right, thank you. So that's what we've got to show you today. And don't forget, this is our magic formula, the growth booster for broiler production. And that's why we have what we have here. So please, this is available, readily available. If you want it, just give us a call on our phone number, plus two, three, four, eight, zero, six, eight, five, two, five, zero, three, two. That's the number to reach us. and place your order for this trust me if you use this and you don't get the results then you can give me a call or probably say whatever you want to say on the internet about us that we're fake but trust me this is the magic it works perfectly you've seen it and i can assure you that it works for you as well but something you need to understand is uh getting broilers to good weights goes beyond just the organic litter if you're using, sorry, yeah, it goes beyond the organic uh, growth booster. Because if you're using the organic growth booster and other areas of the management is not in order, you will have losses and of course your birds will not grow as expected. You still need the right environment, the right vaccination. As you can see, we have our vaccination shot for broilers here. I told you this is a, a, a training facility. If you turn the camera, you see some students just behind you and they are all putting on green. Uh, farm suits. So these are just a few of them here for their training and of course we have over 30 of them on the farm currently for training. These ones are posted to the uh, poultry unit so that's why they are here making this video with me. So this is for their uh, consumption. So we have a chart for uh, broiler production, the vaccination shots and the prophylactic drugs you administer to your birds and also giving them the right type of feed and the right type of temperature and humidity. All of this will come together to help your birds to get to a good standard. 
So it's not just a guarantee that you just give them growth boost and everything is going to be uh, fine. No, you must have the right personnel on ground, ensure that your feeding is up to date, your vaccination, the routine of administration is okay. Then when you had the growth booster to it, then you get the results we are getting, which is you wouldn't get less than 2 kg in 6 weeks. Trust me, you won't get less than 6 kg. And the growth is almost uniform, as you can see. The two birds we weighed, one was 2.7, the other was 2.4, we have 2.8 and so on. We've not even weighed the biggest bed here. So that's to tell you that we have beds close to 3 kg and so on at 6 weeks. So definitely this works and if it works for us, it will work for you. So yeah, that's the much we can take for now on the growth booster. So like I said, my name is Kesta Amos and I'm your favorite animal scientist on the block. You can always contact us to set up your farm, either industrial farm, commercial farm, small scale farm. We can always attend to your needs. So this is our small broiler facility. So quickly we'll show you the layer side of it. Though we don't have our beds in there now, but we have our foreign cages well installed and everything is okay. So like we tell you, uh, I don't have a very big facility now, though I hope to have one in the future, in the nearest future. But the small facility I have, I've organized it in a way that it is really nice and intensive for the learning of anybody coming here for training. So I'll just walk you through to the layer section and show you what it looks like. So we just have a wall demarcating the layer from the boiler. Uh, our food dip is not ready yet because we've not even had beds inside. We just installed our cages so you can come inside and see. They are foreign cages, 120 beds per unit cages. So we have uh, enough units to carry 1,000 beds here. So everything is set, it's just the finance to introduce the beds and begin to grow them here. We'll be bringing in points of lay at 16 weeks, so we're making plans for that. Of course, in Nigeria, doing a genuine business, it's, uh, it's not easy uh, raising the kind of money you need to get what you want, so patience is required. So we are taking things one step at a time. Now we've got in the cages, hopefully we keep working hard and we'll make money and raise funds to bring in the beds and nurture them. So. This is the much we'll show you for today. I'll make a full documentary of my farm facility for you. Uh, and on that uh, documentary, you'll get to see our office. The last time I made a video about my office, it was in a rented apartment. But now we have our own facility, our own personal building, where we have our office, we have a training hall. And we also have other areas like our fish farm, the pig farm, and all of those things. So. On that documentary, I'm going to show you a lot of things and everything we have here in Kesta Amos Consultancy Services Limited. So you keep following us. Uh, please like the video, subscribe and share. Thank you. God bless you and bye bye.